Kano, it's going to be, there are going to be times in the season where the offense goes through some dry spells, but in tonight's case, what's the message to the group afterwards? I mean, Kosa comes into the game following what we have to think is an injury to Huso, and you guys peppered him pretty quickly thereafter, but it's now two straight games. The offense just hasn't been able to find its rhythm. What do you What do you think is the biggest key for them finding their confidence again and getting I, back out there? I don't think it has anything to do with con- confidence or rhythm. Sometimes you score, sometimes you don't. There's good chances there. Our guys will score. It, it, last couple of games it didn't happen. I, I think really, really, we I think we score three. Maybe you know we get we get a couple more goals if we aren't in the penalty box in the second period. I mean that stalled a lot of our offense. You know, you're killing penalties. I liked our penalty kill. I thought our guys did a pretty good job. Eventually they got one, but I thought we killed the penalties pretty good. But it takes away momentum, and you're and you're killing the. You're using a lot of the same guys to, for for the penalty kill that you're also asking for offense at times. So so to me, the offense is there. Played hard. If we play hard like that, you get chances. Our guys will score. And, you know, I don't I don't think it's any any big big picture thing that we got to dissect or look at. But you can't you can't take five five penalties. It just again that that. That stalls your offense. Colton Ellis for a third straight game, and it feels like he's getting the net more often on merit. And it's now three straight games; he's allowed only two. What do you continue? What do you continue to like about him? Well, you know what he's. I mean, he's a good goaltender. You can see it every game for, you know, that I've I've seen him. He's he's looks confident in there. I think our team feels he's confident. Um, you know, he makes big saves, and you know, he gives your team a chance to win every night he's in there. I mean, that, he's a, he's a good solid goalie for us. Tucker and Benton brought up the physicality tonight, and they brought it to a level. What did you think of their performance? Yeah, that's what that's what they need to bring, and they do that. They're character guys, good hockey players, and yeah, they brought their brought some physicality. That's good, and uh, you know, like again, everybody has different things they bring to the table, and they certainly can bring that. I know the special teams obviously broke up the rhythm of the game a little bit. What were your first impressions of Simon Robertson in his debut? Well, he's he's a good hockey player. He still does some smart things out there, you know, with the puck and. And he's a smart hockey player, and he he's, he's defensively responsible with and without the puck. But there's also offense there, and I thought a little bit. He hasn't played for a long time, and and with a lower body injury, it uh, he can't do as much rehab until the very end, uh, you know. And so it, it there's a little bit more to go. He was fine out there, but I think he's going to be a very solid player at this level and in the NHL one day. So you know, but he had an injury. He's been out for a while. So for the first game, I'm very happy with him. And I, you know, I know he'll just continue over the next next week or so. Get a little bit more step or jump as well. Goes without saying, the Hershey Bears are going to have a big target on their back from everyone they play this season. You guys get a first crack at them tomorrow night. What are the things you want to see improved upon from tonight, and what do you want to see from tonight carry over to tomorrow? Well, that's that. I mean, pretty obvious answer would be would be the penalties. I mean, they're going to have very good talent on that power play, and you don't want to be giving them those kind of opportunities. And then, you know, I thought uh, other parts of the game, you could still get better managing the puck. You know, at times we were pretty good. And and when we're pretty good, we're a pretty good for checking team. When we got in there, we created havoc. That you know, we have to we have to bring that. Uh, other times, we were kind of stalled with the way the way we moved the puck in the O zone, uh, just coming over to blue lines, or at times just held a little bit too long, coming out of the D zone or on the regroups. Just want to be a little bit quicker. But uh, you know, overall, I thought five on five, there were some good things to build off of.